This is a Saturday morning TV log from Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. Welcome to another Saturday morning TV log, and this time around it's Fantastic Max, brought to us by Hanna Barbera. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. I'm you all, the Big D to you. This is Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So this week's Saturday morning TV log is Fantastic Max. An animated series that originally aired as part of the Fantastic World of Hanna-Barbera in syndication here in the U.S. Produced by Hanna-Barbera along with Callista Limited, Booker PLC, and Tanaka Promotion Company in association with S4C, who also aired this in the U.K. as well as BBC One. The show focuses on a boy named Maxwell Young, or Fantastic Max to you, who has adventures in outer space with two of his toys, FX, a full-string alien doll from a planet called Twinkle Twinkle, and AB Sitter, a C-3PO-like android made of blocks. The show originally premiered in September of 1988. It was developed by Judy Rothman and Robin Lyons from Serial Animation, I hope I pronounced that, which was as part of the creation of Callisto Limited, as, and the series was originally called Space Baby before being developed by Mike Young, who, of course, if you don't know who that is, I do believe that's the same person who Yes, um, who would also work on another show that aired on the Fantastic World of Hanna Barbera, and that was Super Ted. And of course, he would later go on to found and also work on Midnight Patrol Adventures in the Dream Zone, aka Potsworth and Company. But Mike Young was also well known for his production company as it worked on the He Man, the Masters of the Universe 2002 series and Brad. Now, in the U.S., of course, the series aired on the Fantastic World of Hanna-Barbera. Now, I caught it when we got our Fox Network in the following year in 1989. Cartoon Network and Boomerang aired reruns of the show throughout the 90s and into the early 2010s. Now, of course... In the U now, of course, I mentioned BBC One actually aired this. But I'll get to that in a second. As I mentioned, that in the UK, the series was actually broadcast on CBBC, as a matter of fact. But this time, all the episodes were split into two parts. In the original pilot episode, the series was named Space Baby, with the footage that matches the episode from here to Twinkle Twinkle was first broadcast on BBC One on December 30th, 1987. Now then, now... Now, Fantastic Max, of course, is, well, is a baby boy, actually, who has, who was given the abilities of speech and intellect by FX, his alien doll. He's very brave and adventurous, but his actions often get him into trouble. However, despite this, Max cares for his friends and the people he meets. And dirty diapers is his catchphrase, uh, which he exclaims whenever things go wrong. Now, FX... Here is an alien doll with magical powers that can create virtually anything, such as a baby ball-shaped rocket out of sand, which Max uses to travel through space. And his catchphrase is Rocket and Roll, which is also the command for using his powers. A.B. Sitter was also brought to life, uh, by was also... Well done by FX, he was brought to life. His origins were explained in the episode Straight Flush. He's often trying hard to keep Max out of danger, but it seldom works, and he often ends up annoying Max. And, in a way, acts like a nanny to him. But AB doesn't enjoy going in our space as much as the others, but he goes anyway in order to keep Max out of trouble. He provides most of the mature humor in the show. He also has the fewest episodes dedicated to him as a whole. Now, 
here are some other characters. There's a uh, Mr. and Mrs. Young, the Max's folks, um, sorry to say parents, and um, he also has a sister as well, I'll get to her in a moment, who are completely oblivious to their infant son's true personality and may seem to pay a lot more attention to him than his sister, and their faces and backs of their heads are never seen at all. <laughs> Now, their daughter, Zoe, who's five years old, is occasionally dragged into her brother's adventures. Max doesn't think very highly of her and often calls her dumb. She is rivals with her next-door neighbor, Ben, and she frequently becomes suspicious of her brother's travels, but Max puts her to sleep so she can't reveal their secret. She is usually reprimanded and grounded at the end of Max's travels, especially by her strict dad, the for impish and mischievous behavior. And she owns a cat named Ursula and a rabbit named Hutch's Pets. Now, in the German dub of this series, the character's name is Susie. There's lots of other characters as well. Uh, like King Klutzes, a jovial knight with an orange goatee and mustache to go with that, who rode a white horse and befriended Max and his friends when they were lost. And of course, he was featured in the episode Stitches in Time. Rudy, a giant character who, well, who, well was from a planet inhabited by vegetables, and he was seen by Zoe and entered in a carrot grown contest. But Max manages to help now with the help of a fat rabbit. Not, well, not Fat Rabbit, but Giant Rabbit, named Fat Though. And he appeared in the episode Carrot Encounter the third time. There's Denise, a baby and good friend of Max. And she attends Sherman's daycare center where her friend Magic. Another baby and good friend. Well, these two only appe appeared in the episode All in a Babe's Work. I gotta say that I can't seem to recall much of these characters. It's been a long time since I last watched the show. Uh, I do have fond memories of some of these things. Just for Max, FX, AB, and Zoe, of course. There's also villains in the show like W.T. Twiggins, Bronx, Goldie, Dumping Jack Trash, XS, Ben Letterman, Magellan the Cloud Keeper. Oh, plus a lot of others. Uh, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, anyway, each week, of course, Max and his friends blast off into space for some real adventures and fun. The show ended after 26 episodes were produced and aired over the course of two seasons. It still, however, continued in reruns in the 1990s. Before Cartoon Network even existed. Now, BBC actually released four video cassettes from night between 1989 to 1991. <coughs> well, even after this, in 1991, Abbey Home Entertainment also released some as well. But I think they've only been. But it seems like we don't got those in. The UK, none came to the US, and there's never been a DVD release here in the US, and not even the UK either. Anywho, uh, I really will think that I feel Fantastic Max, well, not one of the best A shows, but it is kind of underrated though. But wait a minute, now there is a way you can find some episodes though. There are four. Yes, I can. Yeah, it seems like there's a an actual Fantastic Max YouTube channel that I wasn't aware of. You can find full episodes on there. I'm not sure how many is on there, but but I can tell you this: if you're interested, you may want to give this little number of a show a try. Now, for our voice acting cast, we have. Ben Ryan Ganger, I think, or Ganger, I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, as the titular character of Fantastic Max. Greg Berger, who 
who has done numerous voice acting. I know. Because he's... Oh, he's just done so many. He's, he's just a, I'm just going to say too many works from the looks of it. Uh, yeah, he's done voice acting work from numerous shows, including Transformers, G.I. Joe, Jim, and, and even Garfield and Friends, plus a lot of other cartoons. I also know him from his voice acting work in the Layer Spiral of the Dragon games as well. He voices AB. Voicing FX is Nancy Cartwright. Just one year before she voiced a sorry, sorry voicing a sorry in Bart Simpson, she had recently lent her voice to other Hanna Barbera shows like Richie Rich, The Shark Tales, and Snorks, as well as to Ruby Spears' Sari Super Page. Um, let's see. Now we have... I thought this would be him. The late Benji Gregory, whom we... You may remember Brian from TV's Alf, whom we sadly lost a couple of months ago this year. Um, he voices the character of Ben Lehrman. Max's parents, Paul Ittig, voices Mr. Young, and Gail Matthias voices Mrs. Young. And Zoe is voiced by Elizabeth Parois, who would later go on to play Emily in the live-action portions of the first six episodes of Hanna-Barbera's Timeless Tales from Hallmark, as well as voice Rosie in Midnight Patrol, and, and she also played Alice in Adventures in Wonderland. She later go on to appear in numerous other shows, including the cult classic series Point Pleasant, as well as the final seasons of the original CSI. And there's tons of other voices as well. Too many to mention, but you'll know them when you see them. So anyway, Fantastic Max, again, not one of the best shows, but it's fun and what have you. If you can handle the silly bit of humor and what have you, let me go ahead and give you a look at some of the characters. Here's a shot of Max and FX and AB together. And here's a look at Zoe. That's what Max's sister looks like. But as for the rest, you're going to have to watch the series. Like I said, I just found there's a Fantastic Max YouTube channel. I'm not sure if it has all the episodes, but if so, look into them if you'd like. And I think you might enjoy it, or you may not. But you be the judge, okay? So anyway, Fantastic Max is definitely worth looking into. So, what did you think of Fantastic Max? Have you ever watched this show before? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Continue to help support my channel, make it grow, and make the views grow. Please feel free to share my vids with your friends if you wish. You might, and get the, and they might be, well, thankful to get to check out my channel and why we get to know me and what have you. Now, Usually, I would show next week's Saturday Morning TV Live at the end of the vid, but I'm not going to because next week, since it's Super Sci-Fi September, I'm, though I was originally to give this to you last year, I'm going to try yet again to do the Saturday Morning TV Log Revisited on the original Shazam for its 50th anniversary. And we'll have another video coming up for you later on. So if you like this, consider checking out the Saturday Morning TV Log of these other fun-filled shows. I'll give you two others that came on the Fantastic World of Hanna-Barbera. In the upper left-hand corner is the episode I did on Yogi's Treasure Hunt. The upper right-hand corner is the episode I did on Paw Paws not so long ago. Or you can go to the bottom left-hand corner for a little more fun and babyish fun with the original Muppet Babies. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., as well as the Saturday morning TV log, then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching, and of course, next week's Saturday morning TV log, I've mentioned, will actually be a revisited episode, revisited on Shazam, okay? So until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.